I'm going from Atlanta to airport code BDE. Ooh, oh Lord, wrong one. I'm sorry, let's do this again. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today's date is Sunday, October the 30th, and the local time right now at Atlanta Jackson Hartsville Airport is 8:18 a.m. So, guys, today I start a three-day trip. This is the end of the month, so I am ending on a high credit month of 120 hours. But I want to tell you guys where I am going because right now I'm at the airport near my gate. I'm going from Atlanta to airport code BDL. Y'all know what BDE stands for, okay? But anyways, BDL is Hartford, Connecticut. <sighs> Wrong one. So when I get to Hartford, uh, I have a 20 hour and one minute layover. Okay, so this is my one and only leg for today. Day two. Now this is going to be holiday pay, three legs. So it's going to be a very long duty day. It is uh, Hartford, Connecticut to airport code L-A-S, which is Las Vegas, Nevada. Now when I get to Las Vegas, guys, I have a ground time of two hours and 20 minutes. Now, that flight from Hartford to Vegas is blocked at five hours and 37 minutes. So that first flight is going to be long and then I'm going to a two hour and 20 minute ground time. And you guys know ground time is time between flight. It's a freestyle, right? So after my sit, I am going from Las Vegas to airport code SAN, which is San Diego, California, and then San Diego to airport code PHX, which is Phoenix, Arizona. So I will have a 19 hour and 29 minute layover in Phoenix on Halloween. So I'm getting holiday pay and I am going home because I have not been home since April. And then day three guys is Phoenix back to base Time away from base, uh, 61 hours and 13 minutes. And the credit hours is 14 hours and 35 minutes. So I'm ending the month with 120 hours and my last trip, I get to go home for Halloween and I'm getting paid for it. So holiday pay, get to see my family, get to see Scratchy and all that. So uh, the report time for this trip is 8.23. I've already checked in via remote check-in. And again, my gate is literally 30 seconds away. And this is my makeup look. As you can see, I have on that wig. So she is gonna be holding up for a while. So I am flying with my Crash Pad Mate Hunter. And the Beyonce for this trip, I do know. But my role, guys, I am a background singer. Not a strong background singer, but I am a background singer where you may hear a harmony or two, maybe, maybe not. But that is what I'm doing this morning. So I'm very excited for this layover. So I love the hotel in Hartford. It's like a sweet, and I cannot wait to get into that bed and just relax. I know that sounds weird, but guys, I sleep in a full. I think it's a full, a very small bed, okay? I can't even turn around without falling, okay? So I'm really uh, ready to go, guys. So I'm gonna head to my gate, do my safety checks and pre-flight requirements. And guys, you will see me in Hartford, Connecticut. So good morning and stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, I am finally, finally in Hartford, Connecticut. So I'm gonna do a room tour because it has been a while. So you walk in and there is a full kitchen. So you have a table here and this is the kitchen area. So you can see I do have a, a dishwasher and there is uh, two eyes here to cook on. Um, I do have a coffee maker with cups and there are the condiments. So I do have a microwave and I have a few dishes here. So we do have some pots and pans here and I do have a full size refrigerator, which I really do love. And you can see, okay, can opener. Okay, and there's a toaster. And this is the living room area. Okay, so they have a nice little table and I believe this is a pullout bed. Yes, it is. It is a pull-out bed there. All right, the living room does have a TV and then some drawers. And then you're going into the bedroom and there are double doors here. So I think I have a king-size bed, maybe. 
Okay, and this is the area leading to the bathroom. So this is a vanity area, a mirror. And then here you do have a closet. So we have plenty of cover here for the pullout bed and for your own liking. Okay, there are hangers there. Um, there's the iron, iron board, um, a luggage cot with additional shelves for storage. Then you walk and then here's the bathroom. All right, so there are some towels here to your left and you got toilet paper. Okay, another towel here, like a bath mat. And this is a uh, shower slash bathtub. Down here, uh, we got toilet paper and more towels here. And there are hand towels right there. They have, see, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, body lotion. Okay, there's some tissue and facial soap. Cute little sink right there. In a full length mirror, and as you can see, slacks in a white shirt tucked in. Okay, there's another TV here. And then here you have a workstation desk area with a lamp. And this is the view from my hotel window, guys. And ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude the room tour in Hartford, Connecticut. And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today's date is Monday, October the 31st. So happy Halloween and the local time right now in Hartford, Connecticut, 7.53 a.m. So today is day two, it is three legs. It is Hartford to Vegas and that flight is blocked at five hours and 37 minutes. Then when I get to Vegas, I have a two hour and 20 minute ground time. Then it is Vegas to San Diego and then San Diego to Phoenix. So it's gonna be a very long duty day, but it is holiday pay. And I have over eight hours of holiday pay, which is really going to make a difference on my second check on the 20th of November, right? All that holiday pay, y'all, is gonna really pay out and come through for your girl. But as you can see, I am on my Halloween. So I wanna get into this look, black lipstick, okay? I try to do the orange and black eyeshadow to match these nails that I have because I'm still celebrating. And so hopefully someone will understand that I tried. This is my attempt to celebrate Halloween. Now I wanna talk about yesterday, the flight time from Atlanta to Hartford. It was three hours and 14 minutes. It was a oversold flight, but the final check-in numbers, we had about 10 seats open on an A320 Space Flex, okay? 186 passengers, max capacity, uh, 31 rows of seats. So we did have a delay because it was mechanical. So it did shave about an hour of my layover. So I did have about a 19 hour layover. Me and my crew went to a barbecue spot. but I got back to this room y'all and I really chilled but this hotel has breakfast so I just went and got me some breakfast uh, a hash brown I did make my oatmeal so right now I am getting ready to head out because my van time is 8 a.m. I got about four minutes wrap everything up but that is the gist of what happened ladies and gentlemen now I need to work these flights again a very long due today but it's holiday pay so again let's focus on the look did I execute, uh, is it serving? Okay, y'all let me know and we will talk later. Good morning. All right guys, I am back on the aircraft and right now the local time in Vegas is 1.19 p.m. Um, so right now we are already delayed, all right? We are supposed to leave at 2.07. Now they're pushing it to three they are going to replace a pilot. So we have to wait for this pilot to come, but it's the same aircraft. I do not have to do my safety checks and pre-flight requirements because it's the same aircraft. But again, A320 Space Flex, this is the aircraft that I have been on for that very, very long flight from Hartford to Vegas. So my next leg is San Diego. So I am tired, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm going to see how I feel when I finally get to Phoenix. But anything can happen. Is this delay going to go past three? Will this cut into my 19-hour layover? Yes, it will. 
just not sure how much of a layover I'm gonna have, right? Still a good enough time, but huh? I would say if he wanted to board as normal. Oh no, so I think he said he's gonna check to see when Wendy is coming because he does not want to board. Okay, so that's what he said, but that yeah, but choices. you wanna tell her so they don't do that? Yeah, because that guy doesn't know that. Yeah, he doesn't know. Yeah, Wendy. I think it's Wendy he's waiting for. This is the real life of a flight attendant. Things like this happen all the time. It's about how you handle how you handle a situation, and you just got to prepare for it. So here I am. We will talk later when I get to San Diego. Guys in San Diego, right now the local time is 4.01. We are delayed. So my layover in Phoenix will be cut short, um, but it was a 45 minute flight from Vegas to San Diego. Now we are heading to Phoenix. Now the load going to San Diego was about three fourths full. It is a little over halfway full going to Phoenix. So we'll see how this all plays out. It's just some trash and we're gonna head back. So guys, I'll see you when I get to Phoenix. Guys, I am in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, right now it is uh, 6.36 p.m. That. Um, so right now I am on something called a street car. I'm going to head to a CVS with one of my uh, crew members. Um, I still have my uniform because I am really tired. There's a lot of activity going on. This is what I miss about being home in Arizona. You can see the driver right there. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Oh wow. Anyways, this is really interesting um, and fun. I've never done this before, and I just feel so giddy and excited. But I'm just gonna run to CVS and I probably will try to get something, I don't know. I'm just very tired. I've had a very long duty day, and it's Halloween in Arizona. It feels so good to be back home. So I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this free ride over to CVS Pharmacy. All right guys, on the aircraft. A320 Space Flex, 186 passengers, max capacity of 31 rows of seats. Oversold flight. Did we not expect that? Yeah. But it's oversold going to Atlanta. Now, there's a Starbucks near our gate, and I forgot about this one. It was open, and I told them when I asked what was my name, this is what I put. Desperate. See that? So they were like, Desperate, your order is ready. But, anyways, guys, uh, we did our safety checks and pre flight requirements. We're going to start boarding soon. None of the higher ups are here right now, which is weird. But again, this is the official launch day for the Phoenix base. Arizona, I will be back permanently, maybe next year. So I'll see you guys when I get to Atlanta. Stay tuned. Oh, by the way, Offset died. Today is November the 2nd on a Wednesday and it's about 9 p.m. So let's talk about yesterday. The flight time from Phoenix to Atlanta, three hours and four minutes. I told you guys it was an oversold flight. We had about a few open seats. There was a lot that was going on during boarding, but I'm here and today's my only day off. And it's been a pretty productive day. Uh, me and Hunter, whom I flew with just now, we went to go look at another crash pad. And at first I thought it was too good to be true, but it turns out the crash pad is real. And I wouldn't even call it a crash pad because it's two private rooms, but it is connected to a Jack and Jill bathroom. So it's available the 1st of January. I think I have me another option because although I love this crash pad, guys, I'm in a bunk bed, okay? As a matter of fact, that bunk bed. So it just gets a little bit frustrating because I want privacy. And I know, I know guys, you're gonna say, you know what you got into, you're right. But I have an option and a choice. So I do wanna give you guys an update. So I told you guys, there's four of us in this room. Well, the girl who sleeps at the bottom right there, her name is Nini, she has left. So there's only three of us. But right now I'm the only one in this room. And it's been like that the last couple of times. So I'm not sure where the rest of the girls are at, but right now it's just me. So I am getting ready for bed because I have a trip in the morning and I'll be gone for six days. So I've done my laundry, I went to Walmart, I have meal prepped, I'm getting everything ready. And there's my wig right there drying. I just added some product and water to her. I got my uniform laid out, make sure all my devices are charged, my suitcases are packed. 
and it's really time for me to get some rest because my report time is five o'clock in the morning. So I'm getting up at 2.30. But Ford Explorers old and new, thank you for coming with me for another three-day trip, a beautiful layover in Hartford, Connecticut. Love, love, love the hotel. And also me ending the month home in Phoenix where I got some holiday pay and I was able to get paid to go back home for a few short hours. Although I didn't get to see my car and my family, it's always good to go back to Phoenix. And November is very exciting. We know yesterday the first, Phoenix did open up officially. And also we are getting new snacks and beverages for service. Not sure what 2023 is going to bring, but I am here for it. So thank you for supporting me and watching my videos. And I will be with you in the morning if God allows me to get up to do this all over again for the next six days. So again, you guys have a wonderful night. Take care.